Alrighty guys and welcome back to an educational informative game on Midwitch. Now they did rework Midwitch in the in the most recent patches and you will notice there is a lot of collisions upstairs on this map. Now the general rule of thumb with... Sorry, I meant downstairs. The general rule of thumb, I got kind of turned around where I was uh, spawning, is you kind of want to get Amanda. You kind of want to get one gen done upstairs for one gen downstairs, yeah? Oh, she's still there. I'm guessing she can see us through the wall. We got red ping, which is not good. I Means she's probably going to get a really laggy hit on me. I'm so confident she's standing right there. So I'm going to wait right here until I get information that the killer has moved. This is just a patience game. Knowing that she can see me through walls. And oh, there you go. She is chasing somebody else. She could have just snuck around the corner through here. Wasn't 100%. Alright. Alright. Permanent red ping means I'm not connected to a server in my region. It means the killer's gonna get some crazy laggy hits on me. It's not a really good game to have a flashlight, but let's see what we can do. I'm gonna work on the generator near the center of the map, forcing worse rotation for the killer. Keeping in mind the killer is Amanda. When she crouches, she loses a large amount of movement speed if she decides that that's what she wants to do. She does have access to her ambush too. It'll be hard to pallet stun her on this connection, but we'll be able to see what we can do. Generator's gonna take 90 seconds to do. Look at the HUD on the left-hand side of the screen. Three different people on three different generators. Amanda took one hit, one place. Sounds like she's nearby. And then she rotated as well. Looks like she's committing to the chase. Good to know that this killer excels when she downs a survivor. She puts a bear trap on that person's head, and it's luck for them to get it off. So this is one of the few killers that gets rewarded for tunneling in the game. As opposed to killers like Ray Thicker, Pressure, or bonuses for split pressuring, for example, using your bell as a hit and run strat with something like Sloppy Butcher. Amanda, unfortunately, she doesn't get much value out of uh, hitting and rotating. However, you should still be listening to the gens around you while you are working. Notice that that generator was done upstairs and I'm getting one down, done downstairs. You want to make sure that you're doing an even split, that way the killer doesn't have a viable three gen strat. Upstairs or downstairs, you kind of don't want them being able to run just in a circular motion, because that could be very difficult to try and break, especially when you're versing stronger killers like Blight or Billy. Keep it pumping and chugging away at the generator. My teammate is probably still being chased by the killer, even though the HUD on the left-hand side... There you go. The killer is committing to the chase as well. She really wants to get that one down and get that party hat. Unfortunately, I won't be able to complete the generator in time before he gets his party hat. Let's complete it now, and let's rotate straight through the center and look for another gen downstairs. I'm going to get really good information from Kindred. It's going to tell me where my teammates are, where the killer is, what the killer's doing, what the killer's intentions are. Now, I do have a flashlight on, and I am running a perk called Champion of Life in the basement. Chances are I need to go for a fast save. I don't like fast saving. Chances are she's going to go for a proxy camp trade on this. The guy working on the gen upstairs, if he gets off because the killer is on him, I'm going to run straight for the save. I reckon the killer is waiting right in that corner. She doesn't strike me as somebody that's going to do a lot of running this game. And the fact that he's being able to work on that gen uncontested makes me think that... Oh, there you go. That's my window right there. She's on the corner. I gotta go for it now. Even if he gets down, he needs to get down not in the basement. Being down in the basement is going to put him in an awkward situation. I don't want to wait on the hook save because of the red ping. He's got a party hat. Let's see how this goes. She's probably going to be waiting up here for an ambush, no? There it is. There's the ambush. Let's see how she responds. She saw me. I'm a bit scared because of the ping. Alright, champion of light. That's going to slow her movement speed quite a large amount for a few seconds. Allow me to get distance, balance landing, and then take it to the next rotation that I want. Unfortunately, I ran... Oh, that stutter because of the FPS. Or because of the um, latency, sorry. I'm not going to be able to use balance landing how I wanted to because of that input. Take the vault, rotate round here. The staircase is always open now, ladies and gentlemen. There's your red ping, ladies and gentlemen. She hit me from literally the moon. There was no way I was in lunge range. Yeah, I see she's cutting me out. Oh, no, she's not. All right, let's keep moving. I don't feel comfortable looping her because of the latency, yeah? I feel she's going to get another crazy hit on me here, boys. I don't like camping pallets, but I feel like I don't have much of a choice. I might be able to make downstairs. Chances are I won't, so let's get to this. I mean, she has Coop, so we know that for a fact. Coop the Grace, because of the range that she's been lunging. But the red ping is also there too, yeah? So we have to be mindful of that. Unfortunately, both hits on me were with Coop and red latency. It increases your lunge by 80% the Coop. 
I do have a party hat. My teammate did get saved, so she will still have a few more of those. Remember, she stacks at five tokens, or you cap out at five tokens. No gens have been done. She used two to down me just then with no gens being done. You can see the delay on left clicking with the mouse, so you know we're probably about 200 MS right now, which is unfortunate. We've got an ally hopefully going to be coming getting me. I don't like the fact there's a box upstairs. There's five boxes in total to do two. Three minutes, nobody working on the final gen. I would like to be healed. I feel like I could have taken her for a much longer run, but at the end of the day, the red ping in the coop makes me a tiny bit nervous. Pay attention, she took a hit underneath, and it looks like she's kicking the gen. She's going to come straight up. Not going to take the heal. Yep, paying attention to everything. Teammate has babysitter. It's going to allow me to get a lot of distance. If the killer decides to chase me, I'll take advantage of babysitter and do another lap. Killer doesn't chase me. We're going to try and get our party hat off. Killer's in chase with nobody, so i got to keep that in mind, yeah? This is not a great spot for a box. Killer got a down on that guy straight away. Let's get it done. So she's running the crater gears, which is going to increase how long it takes to um, check these, check these uh, little boxes or traps. The good thing is you can farm a lot of blood points through this, remember. I'm getting 150 every time I land a great, 50 every time I land a good. I will take a heal from my ally. Just based on the fact that the pig comes, I can loop her. I can get away from her, take a hit, take the spacing, play the pallet. We do a couple of things. Champion light is much better utilized on a window. However, this map's very limited on the windows that you can use it on. It does make the flashlight shine quite a lot, even without add-ons. Let's move over here to this one. Teammate gets picked up. I get picked up, so she's probably checking boxes. Harpy's very close. Remember, she can come up here just for free. That's terrifying. I hate this idea, but there's not much choice I have. I'm scared she has the ambush out on. Alright, we're good. I actually thought this was open, I'll be dead set honest with you. I thought it was open, it's only downstairs, it's open, not upstairs. Alright, fingers crossed I get my party hat off. So this is why Amanda is considered one of the worst killers in the game, because she's luck based. There you go, party hat off. Beautiful, let's get to work. There was a generator up here. Let's start working on it. She's used three out of her four party hats. I'm in a pretty comfortable spot right now. The loop to my right is terrible on good ping, let alone bad ping. Let's pay attention to the location of my allies downstairs. The side wall is open for the rotation, so she can come up through there. She hasn't gone for any ambush hits, which is something to keep in mind. We had split on all three gens. We've got plenty of time before we need to save this guy. Remember, it is 60 seconds before struggle, and then 70 seconds from struggle to death. They upped it an additional 10 seconds, so that's something to definitely pay attention to. You tell by how he's moving, chances are the killer is with him. That's oppression. She kicked the generator downstairs. Doesn't matter. Let's keep working on this one. She might have to come up here and check it, and if she does and she gets a hit on me, I'm gonna just rotate away, yeah? I feel like I should relocate here. I got a better field of view. Unless she comes from the wall, but that's a massive detour if she comes that way. I'm gonna drop the pallet straight away. I don't like camping pallets, but on red ping, you kind of have to adjust your playstyle in order to um, make up for the latency. Alright, got an ally with me, two people, one gen, 45 seconds, gen's already more than halfway done, 22 and a half seconds, it's going to be even less than that, probably 17 and a half seconds to complete the generator. Let's get it done. Uh, I think we should 99 the gen, hopefully my teammate knows, just while the other guy gets his party hat off, unless the killer comes. So I'm going to get off the generator, okay, I'll let him prep it. The reason we're doing this is because the second the timer starts, the pig is probably going to go to the boxes, find my ally, and give my animal, or down my ally. Here she comes right now. So we didn't have a choice. Ooh. There's that coup plunge again. We saw it. She's going to be running low on those tokens. She'll kick the gen and see how she responds after that. I don't want to wait here just in case. There we go. Keep running. She's still coming behind us. I hear my teammate. I'm going to just tell him it's safe by waiting here. All right. There's no pallet here, but I can probably go for a sandbag. I'm sure you guys noticed those micro stutters as well. It is a little annoying. Sometimes you rubber band back while that is actually happening. So she's kicking the gen. Most likely she's going to proxy camp the gen because it's the only gen nearly done. If my teammate... <laughs> Make sure I get the body block. All right. That was unfortunate for both of us. I could take window. He can play any of the loops that he wants. All right. Balanced landing. Let's take some spacing, hopefully. Not a very good loop to take her to. I need a gen to be done or else I'll probably get proxy to death here. I don't see her after me anymore, but I hear the harpy. It makes me a little nervous. I don't know where she went. I feel like she should be right on my six. I feel like she should be right behind me. I'm going to wait here, getting ready to drop the second I see her. And I'm just going to cool my jets, yeah? I have been hit. 
The thing is, the other girl hasn't got her party hat off right now. Pay attention to the HUD. I know my other teammate doesn't have to worry about the killer. I know the killer is currently chasing somebody at full health. I shouldn't have dropped. Killer could be right here. All right, let's go. Start prepping the door. She comes from the right, I'm in trouble. She comes from the left, I have an okay pallet. But yet again, the red pink does make me a little bit nervous. Chances are she's going to check her boxes rather than her doors, but she could come to the door. No point in 99ing the door with so many people injured. Killer's nowhere around because she's currently chasing somebody else, so I will 99 the door. Hopefully Ping doesn't screw us here. I don't want to open it and start the timer. I saw something there. Straight to the door. And she misses her lunch. Force her to get a hit on me, stalling out the longest period of time. Always paying attention to your surroundings. Now, unfortunately, she had red ping. It was a difficult game and I had to draw pallets preemptively. But hopefully there's a little bit of information of how to respond, where to go, and what to do in that game. If you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button. I do education, formative DVD killer, and survivor content over at Twitch. If you guys want to tune into the live stream, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the vlog in the next video. Have a good one. Cheers.